Welcome to the FL Studio 21 Complete Beginner's Guide. We are going to be looking at the interface and we are going to explain what everything here is used for. So if you are new to music production or you want to learn a new door, make sure to watch this video to the end and also consider subscribing. So firstly, what is FL Studio 21 and what is it used for? The FL Studio 21 is a digital audio workstation that is used to record, mix, sequence and create professional audio. It has a VST hosting, a flexible mixer and an advanced MIDI. This is what it looks like by default. The first thing we are going to be looking at is everything at the top here. Here at the left side we have the menus. The first one here is the file. This is where you can open, save, export and import projects. Next is the edit menu, where you can find commands that are used for selecting and editing channels. Next is add. From here you can add plugins or instruments to the channel rack and mixer, view plugin picker and browse plugin database. We don't normally use this because there are so many alternatives and I just use the easy ones and we're going to talk about them in a minute. Next we have the patterns menu that is used to select patterns. Then we have the view, this is used to customize and organize FL Studio 21. Then we have the Options menu, the Tools menu, and then the Help menu. If you are lost or you have no idea what you are hovering on, just look at this hint panel here. A short description will appear and you will know where you are and what you are hovering on. It can be very helpful. Next we have the Master Volume and the Master Pitch and you don't want to mess with these, at least not yet. Then we have the transport controls, where you will see the pattern mode and audio mode, the play and pause, the stop and the record button. Here is where you set the BPM of your song. Under it we have the song position, you can also use it to seek through the track. All these options here like the metronome, countdown before recording, are all the toolbar shortcut and you can remove them or not, depending on your preference. Some of them are related to recording, and we are going to cover them on our recording tutorial, so stay tuned. Next, we have the time panel that displays the song time. Under it, we have the global snap that divides everything into bars and steps. Then we have the pattern selector. Then the output meter that monitors the audio output of FL Studio. The CPU meter that shows you how your CPU is doing. And then these icons here. Before we look at them, Let's first look at the sections that FL Studio 21 is divided into, so that when we talk about these icons you will understand them better. FL Studio 21 is divided into five main sections, and these icons at the top are shortcuts for each of them. So we have the browser, the channel rack, the piano roll, the playlist, and the mixer. As you already know, the FL Studio 21 is used to make drum patterns, create melodies, arrange them and then mix them. So these sections are where you do them. The first thing we have here is the browser. This is where all your samples, one-shots, drum kit and presets can be found. From here, you can send them into the channel rack or drag them into the playlist. The next section that we are going to look at is the channel rack. This is where you make your drum pattern and where you add instruments that are used on the piano roll. We are not going to go deep on any of these sections because we have a dedicated video for them, or this video will be 100 hours long. The next thing here is the piano roll. This is where you create your melodies, chords and so on. You can also edit drum pattern here, work with chop vocals and so on. Next we have the playlists. This is where you arrange your patterns, audio and make a final song. This is where the magic happens. Then finally we have the mixer. This is where you mix the final song by adjusting volumes, adding plugins and so on. So back to the top. This icons are shortcuts for this five sections that we talked about. So this is how it works. You make patterns on the channel rack. Then melodies, chords and so on are made on the piano roll. Then all of them are moved to the playlist for arrangement. And then the mixer is where you mix every element of your song and add effects like EQ, compressors, and so on. In other to use FL Studio like a pro, you need to learn and master how to use each and every sections of it. I mean the channel rack, the piano roll, 
the playlist and the mixer. Lucky for you, we have a detailed video on each of those. Make sure to check them out, like, comment and subscribe to help us put out more tutorials for you to enjoy. One more thing. In FL Studio 21, you can change the theme, which is actually cool. The dark theme is my favorite, but there are a lot of them, so make sure to find the one that suits you.